Okay, here's the sun path diagram from question 51. Someone asked me how to do this. And the question said, uh, what's the altitude and azimuth at August 21st? So these dark black lines that are going left to right in a curve are the months. So obviously you can see that they're labeled here. Um, July and May share the same line because the sun will be in more or less the same position. Same thing with August and April. So if we find August, we'll follow that around. And then the lines going vertically, the dark lines going vertically are the times. And if you're ever confronted with a chart or something that you don't maybe understand, try to look for one thing that you know for certain. And so one thing we know for certain about the sun is that at noon or midday, it's directly south. And so you can see that says noon and it's going straight south. So we know that these are now our times. So we go August 21st, we follow that around to 10 a.m. And that's where the sun is right there. I marked it for you on the assignment. So then we read from the center and we go out along these different lines to find the azimuth. So that's the azimuth. And then we follow these circles around to find the altitude, which is the height. So for me, that is right around 57 or 56 degrees. You can see that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So I think that the uh, altitude is 56. And from this chart, you would read that the, that the azimuth is 60, but that's not actually correct. Uh, so this is a good example, I think, of of a bad chart, and that's important because along the ARE, a lot of times, uh, what's really frustrating is you get to a topic that you know really well, but the drawing is wrong, or the or the drawing doesn't look right, or it's just presented in a way that you've never seen before. And that happened to me on, on a solar question, which I think I'm actually strong at, um, but the diagram was so bad I didn't understand it at all. So what this is saying, if you look at the numbers, they're going up from south. So this is reporting the azimuth in degrees east of south and degrees west of south. And I've never seen it reported that way before. It's always, always, always degrees east of north. So north will be zero, then 10, 20, and so on. East is 90, south is 180, west is 270. So in the assignment answer, I showed that arrow going across that way because the azimuth will always be reported in degrees east of north. And so you get 90, 100, 110, 120. And that's what the answer is for that.